reality check man from a year device and you know it's a unique one aromatic realistic tv anyway tonight my viewers and subscribers i'm touching down tonight from luke 14 verse 11 and the words are for whosoever exalt himself shall be abased and he that humble himself shall be exalted. Hear what the man just said? For whomsoever exalt himself shall be abased. And he that humble himself shall be exalted. I sit and I watch a likes of a Everal Warmington. Disrespect a Mark Golden. I sit and I watch the like of a Nigel Clark. Disrespect Mark Golden. I sit and I watch the likes of a Andrew Olness. Disrespect. Mark Golden and say I can turn it up whenever he feel like Nigel Clark style the man as Massa Mark. Yeah, Nigel, you style the man as Massa Mark. Warmington say, if you want to be prime minister, Tell him to go back to England, Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. But them now beat Michael Andrew Oldness. Andrew Oldness said, So, Madam Speaker, let it be well known. That this Prime Minister has the ability, anytime I feel, to turn it up. Anytime I feel to turn it on, to go back in the public domain. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Madam Speaker, let it be well known. That this prime minister has the ability, anytime I feel, to turn it on, to get back in the public dominion. An aromatic go to Luke 14, verse 11. For whosoever exalt himself shall be abased. And he that humble himself shall be exalted. So Jamaica, I have a couple clips that I want to show you guys. And I am going to start with Everal Warmington. So because of the man skin complexion, the man must go back to England, Ireland, Wales. Or Scotland. Take it away. When he indicated that opposition leader Mark Golding's skin color would be a hindrance to him becoming prime minister. If he wants to be prime minister, go back to England, Ireland, Wales, or Scotland. But then I'm beat Michael Hanjo Holness. I don't talk about color and race. There's when he indicated that opposition leader Mark Golding's skin color would be a hindrance to him becoming prime minister. If he wants to be prime minister, go back to England, Ireland, Wales, or Scotland. But then I'm being so Jamaica, Michael that was the vice Wellness. of one. Those who've been through 
So many struggle, Babylon will do whatever it takes for trouble. Yeah, you know it's I'm here, Snake a farmer man representing for aromatic, realistic TV show on YouTube. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe. So Jamaica, that was the voice of the one Everal Warmington. So I'm moving into the next clip. And the next clip that I am about to present is the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness. Take it away. So that was the Prime Minister <laughs> of Jamaica, braggadocious, hype, in stop, in the midline presentation, and he look towards the PMP. And what, that, what did he say? You hear what the PMP them say? They sound like 2015. You hear what the PMP them over there say? They sound like a 2015. And in carry on. Braggadocious. Hype. Boss. He is the man. But anyway, Jamaica. This next clip that I am about to show. Is the finance minister. <laughs> Nigel Clark. I don't know if it's the finance minister or the finance minister. <laughs> I don't know. You know when them finance are getting a sugar, yeah, for that sugar. <laughs> finance minister. So guess what? He style the leader of the opposition as Masama. He doubled down and said that he won't apologize. So I'm going to play the clip of Nigel Clark, the finance minister. Take it away. <laughs> That never sound like Matthew G to me. That sound like Massa Mark. <laughs> Misconstrued, my motives have been misrepresented and my intentions have been distorted. I regret that some persons may have viewed my remarks as racially motivated. To again be clear, that was never my intention. To apologize, however, Madam Speaker, would be to legitimize what simply is not true. That never sound like Matthew G to me. That sound like Massa Mark. Massa Mark, Madam Speaker. So that was the finance minister, <laughs> Nigel Clark. So anyway, my people, so I am going to show you guys after the prime minister, turn it up. The prime minister, the wobble. The prime minister is wobbling. The man almost dropped down because he's saying, go turn it up. Because Mark Golden have the man out there, you know. 
2 a.m., 3 a.m., 3 34 a.m. in the morning. Can't keep up with Golden. Losing stamina. In. After I make big speech in a parliament. In. So when I'm ready for turn it up. In. Eh? Madam Speaker, let it be well known that this Prime Minister has the ability anytime I feel to turn it on to get back in the public domain. The man they fall down. Mark Golden have him run out the whole Jamaica. Him confused. So I'm going to show another little clip here when the Prime Minister almost fell down on him face. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I <a> wobble. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So Jamaica, we sit and we watch them man, and then disrespect the man in the House of Parliament because what it's what fifteen or fourteen to forty nine. Disrespect the man. You understand what I'm saying because they have the majority over and over and over. And no reason at all. Nigel Clark classed the man as Massa Mark. And he doubled down and said he won't apologize. The braggadocious Prime Minister said he can turn it up anytime he feel like to get back in the public domain. And Everett Warmington stated, if he want to be prime minister, tell him to go back to England, Ireland, Wales, or Scotland. But them now beat Michael Andrew Oles. The man used one stone and kill Everett Warmington. The man used the local government election and kill Everett Warmington. He lose it. He can't believe said them lose. So he just lose himself and start to curse because he was hurting so much inside. Wolin used one stone him lose the election and him have to step down from a ministerial position. That is how you deal with people. You don't have to eat and no nice and you don't have to go in the mud with them and walla like a hog. Humble and wise. Make your work speak for you and get back to them and hit them, hit them hard when it matters most. And this local government election, they want it so bad. They want it so bad when you see the Prime Minister of Jamaica is out there, 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning campaigning. And he still couldn't bring them over the line. Then just imagine how oh, Everett Warmington feel. He lose it. He has a mental breakdown. But who laugh last, laugh the best. Nigel Clark, Andrew Oldness, Everett Warmington, and all the bullies in the room. Now they are walking with their head between their legs. Like a wounded, beaten dog. 
You ever see some dog going at some other dog territory and when they rush him in lap in tail and bend down and take time and screech him. A summer golden lick them. A summer golden lick them. The man used this local government election and lick them, make them lap them tail and walk away like a wounded dog. They are nowhere to be found. They are lost. We can't find them. We don't know where they're gone. Them lost. The big, bad, and mighty JLP is now all the way down here. All the way down here. Prime Minister Andrew Holness. What did he stand in the parliament and say, Jamaica? Chest pump, braggadocious, hype, on top of the world. The biggest thing in the room. What did he say, Jamaica? Madam Speaker, let it be well known that this Prime Minister, that this Prime Minister has the ability, has the ability, anytime I feel, anytime I feel, to turn it on, to turn it on, to get back in the public domain. To get back in the public domain. But they are lost and nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Luke 14, 11. For whomsoever exalt himself shall be a base. And he that is humble himself shall be exalted. You guys exalt yourself so much. And you did not know that the Jamaican people Mark Golden and the People's National Party was just waiting for the moment to make you guys be a absolutely base. You know, disrespect the man over and over. No regard, no respect. You know, do anything you want to feel like in the House of Parliament, like there is no opposition. I have never seen this man really go out of his way and disrespect one of you guys. I have never seen that. All when Andrew out there, they call him such man. He still style him as Andrew. When he go to the, 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 the breakfast, the prior breakfast, he address Andrew. Because what? The man is not like them. Over and over and over. I'm going to disrespect the man. Put the beer, put the beer, put the beer till the beer can't take it no more. But he's not an aggressive person. He's not vulgar and he's not arrogant. So what did he do? He stay humble. Stay calm, stay collective, and building his team, doing the groundwork, doing the foot patrol all over Jamaica. Because what they say, what they say, Jamaica, for whomsoever exalt himself must be a base, and he that humble himself shall be. Exalted, exalted. You are all a base. Uno hype, uno pump, braggadocious, boss. Over the moon. Nobody like Uno. Uno are the biggest thing in the room. No respect and no regard for anyone else. Treat the opposition like shit. But they say, who laugh last, laugh the best. 
he used one stone and destroy every Wilmington. Destroy the Prime Minister, Nigel Clark. He did not want your apology, Nigel Clark. The Jamaican people did not want your apology, Nigel Clark. But we send you a message. We send you a message. And the last person whose legacy is dear that done so much for the Jamaican people, it was Michael Manley. And if you put his complexion and Mark Golden complexion, they're almost the same. They're almost the same. The legacy that Michael Manley set is the legacy that 99.9% .9 of Jamaica is living off today. It was Michael Joshua Manley, the equal pay for woman. Maternity leave. When your mother or your sister or your auntie or your cousin get pregnant from the job, it was one Michael Manley who said, When they gone home from that three months, they don't have to pay them. It was one Michael Manley who said, Free education from primary to university. It was one Michael Manley when Jamaica was coming out of slavery. He introduced Jamal. So no grandmother and no grandpapa can learn to read. All right. It was one Michael Manley, 1976, who started the National Housing Trust. The same National Housing Trust, where you see Andrew Owens take away 600 and had million and go lend him friend is Michael Manley start that is Michael Manley start that and when I look at Mark Golden is the same complexion as Michael Joshua Manley and we are living off those legacy today so if he did it in the past, this man can do it now. The man is a millionaire. So it simply means him now go to go scrape and teeth. Only if he takes sleep and mark that. Why the PSOJ is fighting Mark Golden so much? Ask on yourself that question. Then. Why they are not fighting Andrew Holness? But they are fighting Mark Golding. Ask on yourself, what the private sector? Ask on yourself, why is it the private sector of Jamaica is fighting Mark Jefferson Golding and they're on the side of Andrew Owens? Ask on yourself that. It was the same thing. The private sector, the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, did to Michael Manley in the 80s. I want to know if you go and look up the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. You know, go look them up. They were the group with Edward Siaga and the private sector who undermine and sabotage Michael Manley. Because Michael Manley was for the grassroots and the poor man, the ghetto, the garrison, the youth from the trench, the gully. Michael Manley was for them. And the upper echelons did not like that because Michael Manley was trying to bring the poor and the rich too close. Look at them little dirty foot there. You know the same school where we put them ago. Michael Manley met no separation or no segregation not in a school where the rich and the poor concern. He said, no, sir. The whole of the go to the same school. So 
ask on yourself why is it the PSOJs and the upper echelons of Jamaica is fighting Mark Golden? Why? That's the question. Why they are fighting the man? Because they knew. Because they knew that this man is not going there to scrape are going there to elevate the rich but he is going to work on behalf of the poor people of jamaica anything concerning the poor it's a big problem it's a big problem in jamaica because the middle class state media and the upper echelons they are with the Prime Minister of Jamaica. So the question we have to ask ourselves, why are they fighting Mark Golden like that? Why? Why are they fighting Mark Golden like that? The PSOJs are on the oldness side. But every chance, every step, they try to hammer over Mark Golden's head. It's the same thing they did to Michael Manley in the 80s. The PSOJs, the oligarchs, the upper echelons, and the CIA to bring down Michael Joshua Manley regime. Why they do that? Because Michael Manley was elevating the poor people of Jamaica too much. Why they do it? Michael Manley was elevating the poor people of Jamaica too much. And they say we are not having it. So we are going to do everything to sabotage his administration. And with the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, CIAGA, and the PSOJs, they bring down Michael Mann regime. And in the 21st century, I sit down and I see the same thing is playing out in front of my eyes again. Where Andrew Owens destroy the middle class. And it is like this now. The rich and the poor. The rich and the poor, because that's what they want all along Jamaica. The question is, why is the PSOJs and the upper echelons of Jamaica is fighting Mark Golden like that? And the question is, because they don't want the poor to be elevated they want us to stay in the gutter the marrows the swamp the gully the mud and the one percent rules jamaica and we run to them a little salt sugar water and a piece of bread question is why is the psoj's and the upper echelons of jamaica is fighting my holding like that. It bring back the 80s to me. When the same PSOJs that Michael Manley call the cliques, the cliques, farm and plot against him with Edward Siaga and the CIA and bring down Michael Manley administration and set back and turn back Jamaica. Turn back Jamaica. That is when Jamaica make a drastic turn and went all the way back down under Edward Siaga. Come in, come shut down school, close down clinic, close down hospital. Send home the Cubans them who in the build the school them on roads. Ask on yourself that question. Why the media, why the state media is trying to hold Mark Wall into a higher standard than the Prime Minister of Jamaica? 
why why the state media is trying to hold the leader of the opposition to a higher standard than the prime minister of jamaica why why those are the questions we need to ask because mark golden mark golden have poor people interests at heart and the upper echelons and the middle class right now state media run they don't like it because we must always stay down and begging for bread and sugar and water and sugar and water hmm? what what did the prime minister say madam speaker let it be well known that this prime minister this prime minister has the ability has the ability anytime i feel anytime i feel to turn it on to get back in the public domain think about that jamaica think about that luke 14 11 for whomsoever exalt himself shall be a base and he that is humble himself shall be exalted you guys exalt yourself so much for whosoever exalt himself shall absolutely be a base for whosoever exalt himself shall absolutely be a base and he that is humbled himself shall be exalted and he that humbled himself shall be exalted stay tuned to aromatic realistic tv like and share and follow us over youtube remember we tell them no man is an island so therefore none of us can stand alone a united we stand are divided we must hit the pavement united we stand are divided we must hit the pavement i will continue to tell you guys that the struggle is real but wisdom knowledge and understanding that god gave to us that lodging the cranium and a little common sense get us out of any situation use it because it give it to us for free be well my people be well we tell them say a god and good road and the signature word the signature word Art of love. Art of love. Art of love. Peace, my people. Out.